Hello and welcome to Comunidad del Valle. I'm Damian Trujillo and today we celebrate the 50 year anniversary of the United Farm Workers. Today we speak with Cesar Chavez's son Paul Chavez and with the president of the United Farm Workers, Arturo Rodriguez, plus a special concert, the music of the Tex Maniacs and Chris Christopherson. This is your Comunidad del Valle. Again, uh, this special show here on Comunidad del Valle with Rich Casey. He is the president of the Los Altos uh, Rotary uh, AIDS Project, which is uh, on, on a great endeavor uh, over in, in West Africa. Welcome yeah. to the show, sir. Thank you, Damien. You sent us a, a video clip, and it shows kind of the map of what it takes to get to, to where yeah. you go, and, and it's pretty fascinating. Here, here it is right here. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, yeah. It's a long trip. It's a long trip. <laughs> <laughs> Tell yeah. us what you do and why you do it. Um, what we do is we try and prevent babies from getting AIDS uh, from their infected mothers. So, um, as you probably know, the AIDS epidemic has really shifted geographically to Africa, where 70% of all the new cases happen. Mm -hmm. And one of the, we think, the most tragic parts of this is when babies get infected at birth. And so our, our objective with the Los Altos Rotary AIDS Project is to prevent all of those. And in fact, our, our motto is to getting to zero, zero infections of newborns within five years. Wow, how, how is it that you decided, let's do this half a world away, this is what we, where well, we need to invest um, our efforts? To give you a little background, the Los Altos Rotary AIDS Project was started in 1989 when our president, a guy named, by the name of Dude Angus, got up in front of the club and said, you know, unfortunately my son came down with AIDS. In those days, people didn't want to talk about it. Right. But the, the club rallied around him and formed the first AIDS project in the wor Rotary world. And for the last 20 years, their objective was to educate people about what AIDS is, how you get it, and then try and reduce stigma. But that's pretty much been accomplished in the United States anyway. But in the meantime, as I say, the epidemic shifted to Africa. And so when I joined the, the group about four years ago, I said, Do I really think we should refocus our efforts on Africa, where the problem really is, in, in this particular problem of babies being infected at birth, which doesn't need to happen mm -hmm. because in the U.S., every single pregnant woman is tested for her HIV status. Um, and so we know immediately if she's positive. And if she is, she's immediately put on drugs, the antiretroviral drugs, mm -hmm. to lower her viral count. And no babies in America get infected at birth. But in, in, in uh, Africa, there are about 300,000 a year who get wow. infected. So we're trying to eliminate that. Uh, I'm sure finances has a lot to do with it, but is it education mostly? Uh, it's What we do is fund most of the education. We, in fact, I just came back from Liberia, which is the first country we work in, uh, where we, I took about eight healthcare educators over there from here uh, to educate about 50 or 60 doctors, nurses, midwives in Liberia on the techniques of identifying women who are at risk, educating them about why they need to be tested, getting them tested, and then getting them on the drug. So we just finished. So education is the biggest part of what we do. You obviously saw some children who... Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Your reaction? Well, it's very sad when you... I mean, you know, uh, we went to this one orphanage run by the Sa Sister Teresa's, Mother Teresa's nuns, mm -hmm. wonderful people. And most of the kids are HIV infected or have lost their mothers and fathers through AIDS. And it's, it's a terrible tragedy. But it's one that doesn't have to happen because for a very small amount of money, we can prevent all of those babies from being infected and we can treat the mothers, you know, and keep the mothers alive so it reduces the number of orphans that are created. And you've been, you've been doing this for, for a while now. What, what kind of success have you had so far? Well, you know, the only thing we can measure at the moment is the number of women we have treated. Oh, I see. And so we've treated about, I'd say at this point, about 5,000 women, um, which in Liberia is quite a, quite a number. Um, but our, our ultimate goal is to be able to measure the babies a year and a half after they're born to see if they're vi they have any virus in their blood, because that's the, the true measure of whether you've had an effect. And we'll be doing that over the next couple of years. Wow. What, what kind of reward do you think you come back with when, when you... Well, when you it's just a personal reward. Sure. When you see these little babies, I remember the first time I went two years ago to Liberia, we were taking a little tour of this one hospital, and they were giving a little, very small newborn, just born about three hours earlier, a, uh, a little syrup in, a, in an eyedropper into his mouth. And it was the syrup, the medicine we had bought through Rotary for that hospital. And so we were preventing this baby from getting HIV. And that, that was a that's magnificent powerful. moment. Yeah, it was a wonderful moment. And of course, that's what we're trying to do with all the babies. Uh, is, is it, uh, 
I'm assuming it's not difficult to convince your fellow Rotarians, hey, this is something that... Uh, no, we're but, there, but there are a lot of them. <laughs> There's about 1.2 <laughs> sure. million of them. Yeah. So it, getting around is a bit tough. So it's nice to be in a program like this where maybe more of our Rotarian friends will hear about it. But no, we're, we're aiming to make this one of the bigger health, international health projects in the Rotary world. You know, we're, we're winding down our Polio Plus program, mm -hmm. which has been going right. for about 20 years. And I hope this will be one of the new international health projects. That is great. Uh, if you do want to help, if you're, uh, well, whether you're a Rotarian or not, uh, find out uh, by logging on to that website for more information. Find out about this special AIDS project and the wonderful things they're doing half the world away. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming out. Thanks very much. All right, appreciate yeah. it.